Welcome to Some Guy's Garage. Today it's Project Wheeled RC Tank Part 3, where we're going to make some of the drivetrain for the RC tank. For the drivetrain of the RC tank, I'm using a sprocket and chain drive. I bought a bunch of sprockets, but I'm making the sprocket mounts myself. I'm also learning how to do machining for the first time. I haven't really used the lathe before this, so it has been rather slow going. To begin with, here I am using some 1 inch aluminum rod and machining the sprocket mounts. First facing the part, then turning down the outside to make it concentric. Next I center drill, then using a smaller drill bit for a pilot hole, and finally drilling to size. Then I chamfer the hole, and using a cutoff tool I part off the sprocket mount. But first chamfering the edges before finishing the parting. Here I am drilling, chamfering, and tapping a sprocket mount for a set screw which will hold it to the shaft. These likely won't hold enough torque, so I'll end up drilling the shaft to pin with the set screw. So since I don't have a mill to be able to put the holes in the sprocket mounts, what I've done is I've 3D printed some little templates. I designed the templates in Fusion 360 and used Cura to slice for 3D printing. I printed the templates on my Creality Ender 5 using PLA. I also printed something for the bearing mounts for later at the same time. You can see there's holes in there that fit in the middle of the sprocket mounts. They're fairly snug. So we get that in there and that's what gives me my alignment for holes. So then to hold it in the vise, what I've done is taken some of the inch and a half round aluminum and bored a hole out of the middle of it and then sliced it in half. And it's just a bit tighter than the one inch diameter sprocket mounts. So that way I can clamp it in the vise. And here's what that looks like clamped in the drill press vise. And with the template in there, I only drill down a 16th or so, just enough to make a starting point for the hole, but without actually trying to drill all the way through, I'll take the template out and drill the rest of the way through after. That way it's easier to clear the chips and stuff like that. And then it's just a matter of chamfering the holes and tapping them. For tapping, I'm using Tap Magic Pro Tap Cutting Fluid. And then I have uh, one of my DeWalt Impact wrenches with the Lily or Lyle or whatever you want to call them tap sockets and an Irwin tap here. It's a tapered tap, so it makes it a little easier to get started. But power tapping, because with such a small tap, it's very difficult to keep it perfectly straight when you're trying to turn the handle as well. And so using an impact wrench like this gently works quite well keep the tap going in straight and just so you don't break them. And then now that they're tapped, you can see I also have the little set screw that's going to hold them to the shaft. But once it's tapped, it's easy enough to just take the gear, the holes are lined up with what the holes in the gear are, and then putting in a bunch of screws. And now I need to just do it a bunch more times to get all my sprocket mounts made. So there we go, I have all the sprocket mounts made. The larger ones are going on the shafts where the drive wheels will be. These will come off the motor itself, so this will be the first stage of gear reduction off the motor. And then these double ones will feed the larger ones at the back. So here's roughly how it'll work. Don't mind the shafts, that's just what I had kicking around. But the motor will drive the first sprocket in a little bit of reduction across to here, and that will go to the front and to the back. And then this will be repeated on both sides. I was also able to get started on some of the bearing mounts. I need 12 of them for all the different shafts. So there's a little more ways to go here, but at least got an idea of design and how they're going to get built. Well, that's all for today. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.